we're doing five. Oh, no, no, Stephen, no. Look. What? Where is that coming from? That's a lot of freaking water. I'm Stephen, and this is Latrell. After 13 years of marriage and fostering over 20 children, we have decided to teach our three youngest kids how to sail. Hold on, wait, stop, hold it. We don't know how to sail. Well, we'll just learn together. Well, okay, so meet Lexi and Katie and Talon. So follow our family as we learn to sail this little boat in preparation for a life. Sailing on Monday actually started off pretty good. There was quite a bit of wind and the water was kind of choppy. So Stephen reached the sails in and then we seemed to be going the perfect speed. Everything was going really great. The kids were having a good time. Everybody was getting a little bit wet. Things were perfect. And then all of a sudden, Margaret got sick and things went downhill from there. I guess we definitely need an auto bilge. I, we had a video of all the water that came up. There was not that much water that came into the boat. It was little, a little splash here I don't and there. Know, but by the way, please. No, oh. I want to know where the water came from. Oh, yeah, it didn't know. come from us healing over. I know that. We didn't take on that much water. Ah, maybe they didn't that thing open. And it came flooding in through the engine. That's possible. Is, it? is there water down there by the engine? I don't know. I can't tell. How are you feeling? Mm. How many times did you throw up? Hmm? How many times did you throw up? I'm good. Guys, if you gotta throw up, you better throw up out there. Don't throw up on me. Mm. Right here. Go right there. Hurry. You better hurry, Margaret. Don't you throw up on my boat. Okay, let me just say this here. A few minutes ago, you saw a piece of video where Steven said that we needed an automatic bilge. We turned the bilge on at that point and completely emptied it. This water was maybe 10, stretching it to say 15 minutes later. Also, we did a whole lot of tacking and healing over. Um, so ignore all this stuff in the floor. We kind of slung things around a bit. Okay, we did have a leak, but not here. At this moment, in my panic, I thought that there was a leak right here. Okay, what exactly is, is the one? So the last pipes that we replaced yeah. the drain from here, yeah. they're actually leaking. They were like flushing. The one that we replaced is leaking. But had the electric bilge going but it wasn't keeping up and the kids were pulling out a bucket of water every few seconds and still we weren't keeping up so Steven used the manual bilge to try to help. I can say at this point is I hope like crap that we actually have insurance on this boat because it looks to me like it's sinking. That's the truth. Okay remember the last bit of video where I showed that the water had gotten deeper? 
even deeper at this point and that bilge pump, the electric one had been running the entire time and the water was still getting deeper. They stuck two diapers in the holes that uh, are basically leaking and that seems to have stemmed the flow. But I kind of feel like if we didn't have a two-year-old we would have a sunk boat because it was a diaper from the two diapers from the two-year-old to stop the hole. Once Stephen was able to figure out where their water was coming from and plug those holes with diapers then the bilge pump and the kids shoveling out buckets of water managed to get most of the water out of the floor before we got back to the docks. All right, what happened today? We did not almost die. But what did we do? The boat started sinking. Yeah, kind of. What happened, Lexi? The uh, boat started taking in water. And A lot of water. <laughs> um, was there ever water in your nose? No. Or your mouth? Then you weren't drowning. Um, what it did make me realize is that we haven't went over with you kids what we're what y'all are supposed to do if we're taking on water. But y'all did good. What did y'all do? We took a bucket and some cups and put it in the bucket. In the bucket, yeah. No, he was gonna fix the boat. All that water. Did you see all that water? The boat was feeling full. Margaret didn't notice the water because she's too busy throwing up, but yeah. She was oblivious to the fact that we were sinking because she had her head over the side puking. How many times did she puke? Um, four or five times that I know of. It was a rough day. So were y'all terrified? That's my question. No. Nah. I knew you were gonna figure it out. I'm glad you trust us because I was terrified. I didn't know what we were doing or how we were going to get it back. Or do y'all know what dad did to get it back? The motor off. We used the motor, but we, the, we'd already turned it off and put the motor back on because Margaret was throwing up and was coming back when we realized that we were taking on water. But do you know how he, once he found the leak, do you know how he clogged it up? How? Papers. Look down there. <laughs> <laughs> The fish seem very curious. One thing y'all did, what did y'all learn from today? When, when there's a crack in the boat, use diapers to fill it. Well, I don't know if you could do it with a crack, but definitely if there's a hole. Yeah, hole. Scoop. Scoop. If there's water coming on board, you need to do what? Scoop. And then the other thing we found out is the manual bilge pump doesn't work. There's no suction on it. So we'll have to fix that. Yeah. And I know you already wanted to, this bilge pump in here, you wanted to change to an automatic, but I feel like after today, I that's a priority yes. to me. But. Where? What? Oh yeah, so that hose just needs to be replaced. But what about the other side? Is it split again too? Because he put new hose on that. I must say though, right up until the moment when Margaret started throwing up and water started pouring into the boat, we were having a great sail. And it would be really great if you could share. Wait, where's the dive?